Hi there. In this video today, we're going to cover the concept of arrays. And you are going to learn how to use an array function within a spreadsheet. And how to use for using Google Spreadsheets. Okay, so in very general terms, what is an array? Well, you can think of an array as a matrix or an arrangement of data in rows and columns. So there are two different types of arrays. You can have a multi-cell array formula or a single cell array formula. And in our case, in this video, we're going to cover the single cell array formula. Okay, so what exactly does that do? Well, in very broad terms, the single cell array formula will use functions with arrays so that the functions themselves, and when I say functions, you can also think of operators, etc. So that the functions will apply to each entry in the array. Okay, this sounds a little bit mumbo jumbo, but I'm going to walk you through this step, okay, and it'll be a lot clearer as we go through this step. Okay, so let's go into Google Spreadsheets, and what we see here in the blue shaded area right here are three returns. And let's just imagine this is stock XYZ. And these are three hypothetical returns. So in this case, 4.5% means that stock XYZ returned 4.5% from Jan 1st to Jan 31st. Similarly, from February 1 to February 28th or 29th, if it's leap year, the stock was down 2.4%, and we can say the same thing for March, the stock was down 3.3%. Now, our goal right now is to calculate what the first quarter return of stock XYZ was. Now, quarter first quarter consists of the time period Jan 1 to March 31st. So it seems very logical, right, to say, well, actually, this is a very simple easy question to answer. We want to take the sum of these three monthly returns, wouldn't that just give me the quarterly return? Good guess, and very good, very, very, very good attempt. And it seems very logical. But there is a problem when you use a sum, or what we call an arithmetic formula. The problem is that when we're looking at stock returns or fund returns, when you use the sum formula to calculate, say, a quarterly return, you are missing a very important component. And that component that you're missing is compounding interest. The interest is not being compounded. So, if you want a more accurate return that includes the compounding of interest, there are two ways to do that. The first way is a long way. The second way is a short and easy way. And as you can guess, the short and easy way involves using an array function. Okay, but let's start with the long way so that we know all the steps that go into determining what the quarterly return is, including interest compounding. Okay, the first step is when we want to calculate the quarterly return with interest compounding, we're going to add one plus the monthly return to each of the monthly returns. So here I have it, one plus C5, and I'm going to copy this formula, control C, control V. Okay, here we have it. One plus the monthly return. The next step is I want to take the product of each of these and minus one. And I want to do that. This return of minus 1.37%, which differs from the minus 1.2%, is the geometric of return. In this case, I'm going to show you how to use an array formula to calculate that. Okay, so let's start here and let's apply an array formula. Okay, here we go. Equals array formula. First step, whenever you want to create an array formula, there are two ways to do it. This is the first way. You start with an equal sign followed by the function name array formula. Okay, the next step is we're going to take the product of 1 plus this entire range. 
So what this array formula essentially does is that it looks at this array of that range C5 to C7, and it's going to apply to each of them one plus with each of those entries within that array, and it's going to take the product of them. So it's essentially doing all these steps. And so once we have that, the last component is to subtract one. And if we press enter, you'll notice that the calculations that were done here the result in minus 1.37% were done exactly the same way, except we use an array formula to do it all in one step. Okay, so let me walk you through this one more time. Again, array formula is the function name, and within that, we're taking the product, multiplying one plus each of these cells within this range, within this array. And then once that product is determined, we subtract one, and that is an accurate quarterly return based on the geometric sum, okay? All right, so let me teach you a trick too. Let's just say the first way, as I mentioned, to having an array formula is to write out the function name array formula. Another trick is rather than typing out array formula, if you have the formula here set up, if you go onto your keyboard and hit Control Shift Enter, Hold down those keys. Oops, let me try that one more time. Control Shift Enter. There you have it. Automatically, it becomes an array formula. Okay, so again, when you have the formula, if, if you don't have the name array formula, you have to be sure to, on your keyboard, hit Control Shift Enter, and that automatically puts your formula as a single cell array formula. All right, so there you have it. This is a single cell array formula used to calculate the quarterly return, the geometric quarterly return that includes interest compounds. All right, so check out our other videos where you'll learn the multi-cell array formulas, and we'll see you there.